Hello, my name is James Colbert and I would like to introduce you to my channel, Allostatic Training. Today I want to talk about allostatic or allostasis and the autonomic nervous system. First we need to define allostasis. Allostasis is stability through change and that can be behavioral change or it can be physiological change. Um, a good way to think about allostasis is as resilience. When you are in an allostatic state, you have resilience. Another way to think about allostasis is when you compare it to the idea of homeostasis, which a lot of people are familiar with. Homeostasis is the idea that um, your body or, for example, a thermostat is trying to maintain balance around a set point. So in the case of the body, it'll be your blood pH or your body temperature, whereas for a thermostat, it'll be at whatever temperature that you set the thermostat at. It may go a little bit higher, it may go a little bit lower, but the body tries to maintain a certain balance. Allostasis, on the other hand, deals with change when we incur things that are changing in our environment. Another thing to think about when we think about allostasis, or another term, is allostatic load. Allostatic load is long-term chronic maintenance of allostasis, which results in wear and tear on the body. We can think of that wear and tear as stress and inflammation. So when you think about allostatic load, think stress and inflammation, okay? Allostatic overload is the accumulation of allostatic load or loads, all right? It results in disease. So allostatic overload equals disease, all right? It's not what we want. Allostasis equals resilience. Allostatic load is stress or inflammation, and allostatic overload is disease. That disease can manifest in different people in different ways. So for one person, it may be heart disease, another person it's cancer, another person it's autoimmune disorder, but whatever it is, the body will manifest it as disease, okay? So how does this relate to the autonomic nervous system? The autonomic nervous system is part of the nervous system that controls unconscious uh, processes in the body. So things like um, heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, it's not up here, but sleep, and of course, allostasis. So the autonomic nervous system controls allostasis. Now, we tend to think of the autonomic nervous system as being completely unconscious, but what I wanna show you in future videos is that we actually do have control and a lot of control over how our unconscious or autonomic nervous system functions. All right, so allostatic training increases resilience to stress and disease and raises quality of life to ever greater heights. All right, so as you train, just like you would train for a marathon and you can run longer and longer distances, in the same way you train to lift weights and you can lift more and more heavier weights, allostatic training allows you to deal with greater and greater amounts of stress and then be able to stave off uh, disease at a greater and greater capacity. All right? So um, we are able to perform allostatic training through diet, proper breathing, and I should say proper diet, right? Proper exercise and lifestyle. All of these things can increase allostatic capacity, all right? Now, what are the benefits of this? Why would you want to do this? Well, the benefits are, some of the benefits are, improved sleep, less stress, weight loss when needed, weight gain when needed. Of course, there's sometimes people are recovering from illness. They've lost a lot of weight. They need to gain that weight back. More joy and contentment within your life, vibrant health, and improve performance in all areas of life. You'll notice that I underline that because that's something that everybody wants. Even if you're already fit and healthy, 
you want improved performance in all areas of life, whether you're a teacher, a single mother, an Olympic athlete. Allostatic training is the basis upon which our bodies function. And the autonomic nervous system is that basis, is that foundation. So as you develop it and you raise your level of allostasis, you're going to be increasing your ability to perform at a high level, to maybe levels that you never even imagined. So that is why allostatic training is so important. This is the information that I want to share with you. I hope that you watch my future videos. And as always, I reserve the right to be wrong.